All right, welcome back, art students. We're gonna continue along with our moose drawing, and we're gonna work our way gradually from this head that we worked on down the neck and into the body and into the legs. All right, so let's do this very carefully here. All right, so um, at the back of this antler here, we're gonna start right about here, and we're gonna do hairy texture lines here. That'll be the base of the neck. Then there's kind of like a hump feature um, that kind of comes out like this. I'm Notice I'm making kind of a textured line. Uh, that's kind of the, the hair. And then it kind of dips down at a slight angle here. So don't forget, you, this is their neck bump and then this is kind of like a back hump. And then it kind of slopes down, slender, and it even kind of comes back up to a certain extent here, and then um, it kind of comes around, back to the rump there, and we're going to come around like so, and we're going to stop right there, okay? So this is the top of our moose. Um, now we're going to kind of come over here now for a moment, and we're going to start over here. Good job over here, let's focus over here now. Okay, so back to this uh, snout region, we are going to come right about here and we're going to curl down. This is their little iconic, well I shouldn't say little, it's kind of like a turkey gobbler. <laughs> it's kind of really cool and it comes up, probably has a more technical term I'm sure. And we're going to come right here and we're going to separate the two. Um, so it really looks like it's truly dangling down, so it doesn't seem out of place. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to create some texture lines here. Coming back. And let's go ahead and let's just draw a few more indications here of some structural things happening. Right here, here's where the little smiley face happens, right about here, right between the nostril. Um, we're gonna come up like this and smile. Just a little smile, just very subtle, not too much, okay? All right. From here now, we're gonna come down. This is the chest. like that. It's kind of bumpy, a little wavy. All right. Now we're going to draw the base and the legs, kind of give it its stature. Um, so the legs are really unique on a moose because they're really um, thin uh, for this very sturdy body up top. It's kind of interesting. So there we go. So we're going to go like this. The chest, we're going to continue on like this and our first leg we're gonna start right about here curls in and down kind of comes out like this okay and we're gonna start that over here on this one not gonna make it too wide and start it kind of thin and we're gonna come down remember what i said their legs are really uh thin and spindly, um, which is really unique. Then they really thin out down here, really thin, and then they kind of come out like this. They got their back toe right here. It shoots kind of sharp down at an angle here, and then they got their bottom of there. It's almost like they got two toes down here like this. And we can darken this toe, and their toes are actually pretty dark. I'm gonna put texture marks in there for now, um, kind of like that. Okay. Uh, all right. So some more detail in this leg here. Let's just give it some fur. Just little indications here of some fur. It's more furry at the top. Then at the bottom down here, but there is still a little bit of hair in there. It's just really thin. Okay. 
great, that's one leg down. <laughs> Legs are probably tricky, but you can do this. All right, so we're gonna start over here on leg number two. Now leg number two is on the opposite side of our move, so on the other side. So we gotta create that illusion here. So starting right here, we're gonna come down, we have this angle. We want it to appear that the weight of our moose is kind of distributed nicely on the other side. So kind of like this here, and then come down, spell it down, nice and thin. Right, when we get to the base here, <clears throat> we're gonna stretch out, okay, like that. And back here, we got our black toe back here, like so. And right here. And then we have our black part right there. Okay, so that's the other one. Let's do some texture in there, some texture marks. Some hair, texture marks, this. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so this is looking pretty good. Okay, good job so far, students. Now let's continue from this side of the leg here, and we're gonna kind of bring it up a little bit more, right about here, and we're gonna continue that, and we're gonna come right about here. This is kind of like um, more of the upper leg. Okay, and we'll come back to that with some more detail in a bit. So right about here, we want to envision that this chest line is continuing, okay? And it's kind of coming down, it bellows down a bit like this, but not too much, and then it comes right back up. Kind of where this kind of starts coming back up, imagine that that's kind of where this starts coming back up like this, okay? <clears throat> and we're going to draw the, the, the back hind leg back here. Um, so let's just kind of decide here, and we might go a little farther here. Okay. I'm going to go right here, we're going to go like this, we're going to go back here, kind of curls out like that, kind of comes out like this, and this leg back here, we're going to come out, create a nice angle, and then we're going to come down, kind of straight down, and then down here, we got to do our toe. You notice the pattern. I come down to that toe, it comes down at a sharp angle. We kind of create these black toe region down here, okay? And then we come up like this, and we want it nice and thin. Nice thin at the bottom of the leg, and then it starts where it angles out, it starts widening out again. Okay, right about back here on our moose, we're gonna come down like so. There we go. And then we're, we're just kind of adding in here a little bit of some hair and some texture. There we go. Nice. Down here we want a little indication of some hair texture. Not too much, just a little. They don't have as much hair down here at the bottom of their legs as they do on their upper legs. There we go. And then right in here, it's really kind of dark. It's kind of in the shadow. I'm just going to start shadowing that area in. And then we're going to start right about here. Okay. We're going to come down. There we go. And we're going to stop right about there. And then we're going to sharp angle, steady. And then we got our toe, our black little toe. And come down. And we're going to come back up the top half of the leg. There we go. All the way back up right there. Nice. Oh, that just, I feel like right when we got that last leg done, right when that happened, I feel like that really brought this drawing together quite nicely. Like it feels well distributed and balanced. Oh, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding some texture lines in here. 
just a little, just get us started. We can always add more later, you know, if we feel we need it, right? Let's just see what happens. I'll try it. Not too much on the bottom of the light, just a little more, more up here, for sure. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. We got all the legs in there. Thank goodness we got a lot there. We did a lot, um, but we're not done. So I'm gonna stop the video here and we'll continue into the next one. Good job so far. You're doing tremendous. Keep it up.